Alright, here's video number four. Um, as you can see here, I got the um, heat sink um, and the base uh, system here built. And I've got them bracketed together. And then I got the screw heads grounded down. And uh, these heat sinks work great. I've already tested them with a um, heat gun. And they can take on a lot of heat before they start warming up. It's amazing. You can sit there with a blowtorch on them and um, then touch it immediately afterward and it won't even hardly be warm but um, <clears throat> this seems to be working here pretty good it's nice and sturdy and I'm flipping it over here and uh, I've got my LEDs I'm gonna um, uh, just play around with the layout here a little bit and see what the best way to go would be. Um, and then um, I got a cool technique on how to secure these LEDs um, while still being able to remove them later and uh, not making them permanent and it's not that big of a hassle. Um, I'll show you guys that probably in the next video or two um, but right now I'm just I'm gonna start with the um, um, this driver here for the XMLs that I have which are right here and they're already pre-tinned I'm gonna be tinning these up before I do any soldering, I got my solder station, my variable DC power supply there for um, my 0 to 10 volt signal uh, to make sure the drivers are working right. But um, uh, my next video, I'll probably end up. Um, I'll probably be at the testing stage. Uh, for either the whites and the blues or just the whites and um, yeah um, by the way guys I forgot to mention that this is actually going over a um, four foot long tank and um, it's just a 72 bow front uh, it can go over a 55 gallon too and I can show you guys I have a 55 gallon right there and um, let me uh, lay this down a minute show you guys I got a lot of projects going on also in the process of setting up a getting equipment together to set up a big 175 bow front um, but anyway here here's how this sits you know this is how wide it is basically let me get this thing balanced here you can see it's pretty well uh, spaced out real nice I uh, I draw I drew this out on graph paper. All right here's a good place to start if you guys are ever gonna get into DIY LED system. Go with uh, some graph paper, and uh, each one of those squares represents three inches, and you can see the, um, <clears throat> four squares is one foot, and basically there's um, four squares times four in the back there so there's 48 inches representing four foot and then you can get a really good idea uh, that little D shape at the top here 
is actually the overflow and I don't want to I want to find the best spot to hang this light without blocking or wasting any wasting any light I thought about a, a angle design like that but that's kind of limited and it's a lot more complicated and it will only work for a 72 bow front or any kind of a bow front uh, four foot bow front um, I wouldn't want to do that if I ever wanted to get rid of the fixture I'd be limited as far as my buyers go so I'm going with not this design because it's further back towards the overflow this isn't actually where it is uh, it's actually over more this is more correct is where it is and um, it comes out a little a little ways and that would be blocking a lot of light so I'm actually going forward with the light towards the front of the tank instead of there I know it's a subtle difference you're talking an inch and a half three inches here um, but uh, yeah that's that's definitely the way I'm gonna go right there and then there's six inches worth of space and then there's three inches on each side which is the same right here got three inches right here three inches right there six in the middle so it'd be three inches here three inches there so it's and then also three inches from here to here so these panels will be uh, stationed directly above um, the most optimal position for the lighting um, and I figured all that out on graph paper so that's a really good spot to start uh, if you guys are interested in doing a DIY build um, <clears throat> Anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned for video number five, where I'll be um, getting, hopefully we'll be making some light down here, um, and uh, we'll get the variable power supplies hooked up to the drivers and all that good stuff, and then we can do a test, and I'll show you guys how I mount the LEDs uh, so that they're removable, and um they're easy to mount that way too so stay tuned for video number five bye